Amsterdam place names and how to say them. One thing that can seriously perplex a newcomer in Amsterdam is simply how to say the names of places. Dutch phonetics is different from most languages and they tend to jam words together so you have to pick them apart as you go. But if you are going to be here, it does help if you can tell people where you are and where you want to go. That makes sense, right? For a taxi, you can call 777-7777, but you need to tell them where to pick you up. In an emergency, you dial 112, but you need to say where the fire is. So I want to show you how to pronounce some of these places. My own pronunciation is pretty flawed, but maybe you'll get the idea. Let's start with some place names in the oldest part of town. This place is called De Dam. De Dam. The Amstel River used to flow right through here, and in the mid-1200s they built a dam to control the flooding. The settlement that grew up around it came to be called Amsterdam. Above and below the dam, they had marinas on the river where people could dock their boats. The lower one was called the Damrak. The upper one was the Rock Inn. Damrak and the Rock Inn. These names survive even though there's no dam here anymore and no river either. Today the Amstel just kind of disappears into the network of canals. They also built dikes to keep the water out of the village. Just off the dam you have the Nieuwe Dijk, which today is a shopping street. And here on the other side of town you have the Zee Dijk. Nieuwe Dijk, Zee Dijk. Parallel to these dikes they also built ramparts, or burgwallen, to keep the invaders out once the city started to prosper. There was a back and a front rampart on either side of town. Today they just look like nice canals, and they have totally functional but notoriously tricky names. This one is the Oudersides Achterburgwall, meaning Old Sides Back Rampart. Oudersides Achterburgwall. Then there's the Oudersides Voorburgwall, or Old Sides Front Rampart. Oudersides Voorburgwall. This area is collectively known as De Wallen, and it's where the main red light district is situated. Back on the new side of town, we find the new Sites for Burgwall, or the new side's front rampart. But this one is no longer a canal. They filled it in to make a traffic artery back in 1884. They also filled in the new Sites Achterburgwall, but this time they didn't even keep the name. They just call it the Spuistraat. Spuistraat. Spuistraat crosses the Radhausstraat so-called because it leads to the former Radhaus, or town hall. Radhausstraat. Then Spaustraat ends in a plaza called Het Spire. Het Spire. This used to be a body of water too, but now it's a square with bookstores and cafes and a book market every Friday. Spire comes from the verb spiren, which means to drain. As you can see, they're digging shit up here too. They're always digging something up in Amsterdam. In later centuries, the Amsterdamers took to naming streets after politicians and sea captains, resistance heroes, poets, rivers, and even electronic parts. But in the old town, the place names are plain and factual, like Haring Pakker Steich, the alley of people who pack herring. Here's Korte Spinhaus Steg, short spinning house alley. Long ago, the spinning house was a sort of penitentiary for women who did something wrong. Here's the Ramgracht. I used to live here, the canal of frames. This is where people used to dye cloth and hang it out to dry on frames. Ramgracht. Across the way, Fairfurststraat is the street of the dyers. Fairfurststraat. Leinbahnsgracht is the rope walk canal. They used to make rope here for the ships. Leinbahnsgracht. 
This canal in the Jordan is called the Bloemgracht, or flower canal. Bloemgracht. And here's the Rosegracht, the canal of roses. But notice there's no canal here anymore. They filled it in. I don't see any roses either. And some places changed names. Since the 1650s, this square was the Botermarkt, or butter market, where farmers could bring their dairy products into town to sell. In 1876, they renamed it after the painter Rembrandt van Rijn. So now it's Rembrandt Plein. There's Rembrandt. And over here, this big square is called Newmarkt, which means New Market. The pointy building in the middle is De Wach, which was a weighing house where people paid duty on goods they were importing into town. But before that, in the 1400s, it was St. Anthony's Port, or St. Anthony's Gate, one of the gates in the old city wall. This is the Krombom Slot, Krombom Slot, which could mean crooked tree ditch because Bom means tree, but in reality, it's named after a shipbuilder named Cornelis Peterson Bom. So this is the crooked ditch of Mr. Bohm, Krom Bohm Sloat. They also have Sluise. A Sluise is a canal lock or sluice. This one's called St. Anthony's Sluise, St. Anthony's Lock. Out of Schans is the old entrenchment also part of the defensive works of the old city, Aude Schans. We tend to think of all these waterways as just canals, or grachten. But to the people who built them, this might be a gracht, burgwal, sloot, or schans, depending on its purpose. If you get the hang of saying the names roughly the way the people here say them, then you can talk about where you're at and where you're going. It may sound trivial, but I've really met people who think Leitzeplein is Liedesplein, or that Radhuistrat is Radhuistrat, or that Spey is Spui. Um, if nobody understands what the hell you're saying, it doesn't help you get where you want to be. So, as you spend time here, just try wrapping your head around these diphthongs. Each of these vowel pairs has a distinct sound. I, as in Spey. It's kind of between au and I. I as in Leitzeplein, or I as in Dyke, both sound somewhere between A and I. I. E as in Steich. U as in Blumkracht. O as in Slot. A as in Strat versus A as in Dom. The short and long A are different. Once you get the hang of those, then all you have to worry about really is the G and the CH. They both make a hissing cat sound like Achterbuchwal, Kracht. Remember, you can pick up a lot just by listening to the Amsterdamers around you. So have fun and listen. Hope you have a good time. <laughs>